so I'll just do a couple of announcements while you put it back up again. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Delta Concert Band, great to have some live entertainment here this morning, too. We want to welcome you on behalf of a lot of our sponsors, too. It takes a lot of people in your community to be able to put an event on like this, and, of course, keep it open to you free of charge, too. Ocean Trailer, your Western Canada bordering 16 municipalities, including Delta. The port supports local community events across the lower mainland, and its vision is to be the world's most sustainable port as well. Very important, and we thank them for their help this weekend. The Delta Concert Band, ladies and gentlemen, for your entertainment. So hard to make this air show better than ever. We have been ramping up for this day for more than eight months. And finally, with the great weather today, it's finally time to go and get it done. I hope you're ready for some blood pumping action, because I guarantee that this show is going to take and make uh, your heart. this week, the use of their headquarters here, which has been outstanding. And now, to give a chance for our dignitaries to get seated, we'll have them marched back off the podium and once again call upon the Delta Police Pipe Band to pipe them out. Thank you very much. Gentlemen, we're just minutes away from getting things underway in the sky, hoping to inspire you to stop dreaming and start flying. History taxiing out in front of you right now, some priceless pieces of flying history, aircraft that will take us back to the Second World War, one of them in the colors, in fact, the actual P-40 Kitty Hawk served here at Boundary Bay way back in the war years. That third aircraft taxiing out, LZE or LZE, is that very aircraft. And later this afternoon, it will join the CF-18 in an RCAF heritage flight. These are aircraft from the Ericsson Museum. They are meticulously maintained, carefully restored. Not until the pilots are happy that these aircraft are in perfect working order before they leave the ground. And then all our pilots today will shake the aircraft out quickly after takeoff 
to make sure that they're absolutely ready before they commit to their flying routine. So first is taxing the P-47 Thunderbolt. Behind that, the Grumman Wildcat. And of course, the third aircraft, the Kitty Hawk, the P-40, in the colors of an aircraft that flew here at Boundary Bay. And in fact, the type with 111 squadron years ago Primarily for maritime patrol, anti-submarine warfare, as a command control communications, computers, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance platform, the Aurora can perform a variety of operations at home and abroad. It has conducted the surveillance of Canada's coastal waters, anti-surface warfare, maritime and overland intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, strike coordination, search and rescue missions, disaster relief missions. It also provides vital support to other government agencies combating illegal immigration, illegal fishing, pollution, drug trafficking, and with its latest arms. The Aurora has, however, remained airborne for up to 17 hours with a crew of up to 10, including two pilots, one flight engineer, three air combat sensor officers, five airborne electronic sensor operators. Ladies and gentlemen, the slow speed pass, the CP-140 Aurora. starting by Jack Erickson in 1983. Collection features over 20 rare aircraft, most of which are still in flying condition. Starting with the Chug, the big B-47 Thunderbolt.
pressure in the air of the B-47 as he gets ready to break to land. Sal Rubino had a masterful job of flying the P-40 Kitty Hawk. they shut these airplanes down to the right we'll join you such an impressive sight off to the right right now these big engines props turning the b-47 and the p-40 making their way in and the grumman wildcat getting ready to shut down and again off to the right plenty to see over in that area too in the static display and a chance to visit with our pilots as they get ready to shut down and now getting ready to take up position down at the end of the runway a purpose-built airplane for aerobatics and in the hands of someone like Brent Handy well it's going to be pretty impressive and aggressive, I might add, as well. Barnstormer Brewing and Distilling, a unique award-winning brewery, and a restaurant in Barrie, Ontario, also sponsor and get bread across the country. A brew pub restaurant in the top 150 in Canada, the best of Barrie, he uses every inch of the aerobatic box. 